Yeah. His Excellency, nice to see you again. Um, Danny Dama and Tony Tego, my, my partners in um, our program to build film studios across Africa. Currently we call it West African Studios, but that's because it's a working title. But we've been working at this for, you know, three or four years to raise a, a plan that, you know, puts a facility at the center of African filmmaking. There's a lot of African filmmaking, but the facilities around that are, are something that is lacking. In South Africa, they have a big facility. A lot of film production goes there. But quickly, as we're planning this, we realize that policy is where the actual groundwork needs to be laid. Um, you know, we've studied the models of obviously South Africa, who have an incredible incentive package. Then around Europe, obviously, Greece, Morocco. These are all places where they, you know, they realize the value of the filmmaking dollar, and I've, I've brought that um, policy into play. Tony, Danny, and um, uh, the is it the film? Um, National Film Authority. National Film Authority have, you know, done the work, uh, put together a very comprehensive plan to propel Ghana into the forefront. Um, it needs to be robust, it needs to be com com um, competitive to the rest of the, the, the world, but we believe for sure, and I know you believe this too, it's been part of your legacy that you want to leave as well, that you know, Ghana should step up in terms of attracting those filmmakers. So, you know, as we said uh, at, in the DC, I'd come and see you and present to you essentially just the, the parameters of what we need to do. In short, the work has been done. We've done a lot of the sort of understanding what international filmmakers need for Ghana specifically in tandem as we lay the ground for the studios. I'm led to believe that there are some plans uh, for the studios, uh, some other studios to be brought to Ghana, which is fantastic. And, you know, one should not cannibalize the other. But without, I think, the policy component, I think it's uh, safe to say that we could have as many studios as we want, but we will not have the filmmakers attracted here. So um, I think one of the things to just highlight for you, you know, what I, I want to do personally myself, I have a film that I'm directing. Um, and I'm hoping to bring that film, or at least some of that film, to shoot in Ghana. That film will be, I, I would say we would be here in December. We start shooting, we start pre-production in August. Some of the film, two or three weeks, will be in Ghana, say, by December. Hopefully, if we were to move with a fair wind and we were in agreement of what we could do in terms of the policy, we could case study my film as a as a, a proof of concept, um, I mean, you know, needless to say, it would take a a, a lot of uh, collaboration to move quickly. However, it would it would be very beneficial for us to show and to make an announcement to the world that Ghana is open for business. Here is the steps. The policies are in place, and we have actually bringing a film, um, one of the soil, I may say, to our country, and we're going to put our money where our mouth is. So, in short, um, His Excellency. That's the plan. Um, we, you know, we're confident that you want to do the same as we do, but it's just a question of whether we can push this through with the relevant parties to um, make it happen.